Hi kids. Roxy Reader here with you again to talk about a really fun story called Jalapeno Bagels. What is a jalapeno? I think I will let our little friend tell you about himself. Hello, my orange friend. Yes, she did. You see, orange. I have many names. Like apple. No, I am not an apple. My name is Jalapeno. Yes, my orange friend. I thought you were hot. I am. So why do they call you Chili? <laughs> <laughs> Touche, Orange. Gesundheit. You know, Orange, you remind me of someone. Please don't say me. Please don't say me. Really? Yes, you see, my friend, I wasn't always so smooth. Hey, hey, habanero, hey! What? Habanero, hey! What? Can you do this? Hey, knock it off! That was really funny, Roxy Reader. Thanks, Book Bunny. Before we talk about this story, Jalapeno Bagels, let's watch some real bagels being made. So here we have the dough, covered with a huge plastic bag, for some reason, and the world's fastest uh, bagel maker, without the machine. Okay? You want to show your technique on how you do these? Um... Yeah, I just make sure that I cut it nice and even. They just roll it. Okay. That was such a cool video. I want to follow each step in the directions to make bagels. At the end of this video, there are directions on how to make bagels at home. Please make sure that an adult is helping you when you make the bagels. Roxy, let's talk about the story Jalapeno Bagels. I really liked the part when Pablo put a little extra something into the Chango bars. That is our first question for you kids. What was it that Pablo put a little extra of into the Chango bars? Was it jalapenos? Was it flour? Filet chips. Then you are correct. Roxy, why do you think working in a bakery would be a lot of fun or interesting? I think that getting to sample all of the delicious foods would be great fun. I also think that making some of the foods that Pablo's parents make would be a good way to learn how to follow step-by-step -step directions. Following step-by-step -step directions is not always an easy thing to do. Here is my last question for you kids. Why did Pablo choose jalapeno bagels to bring to school for his international day? Did he choose jalapeno bagels because they were his favorites? Did he choose them because they were easy to make? Did he choose them because they were a little mixture of both of his parents? That is a hard one, Book Bunny. But I remember Pablo telling his parents that he wanted to bring jalapeno bagels to school for International Day because they were a little mixture of both of his parents. Just like him. I think that was an excellent choice. I agree, Roxy. Now, we are going to look at some of the words in this story. This is called vocabulary. Watch carefully.
Bagels at home, you do not need much. This recipe consists of almost all the ingredients you have at home. Grease two baking sheets or use a silicone mat. Sift the flour with salt, sugar, and yeast. Make a dimple in the center and add the oil. Pour oil into the dough and add as much water as necessary to give a soft dough. Knead the dough on a floured surface thoroughly. Form a ball and put it into a bowl. Let rise until doubled in size. Save the dough and divide into 12 equal parts. Form balls and make a hole in the center with a wooden spoon. Work with your fingers to make the hole slightly larger or else the hole will close while still rising. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees. Bring a large pot of water to boil and add the granulated sugar. Slide the bagels carefully into the boiling water and poach for three minutes. Turn them around once. Remove the bagels from the water, drain well, and put them back on the baking sheet. Brush the bagels with a little milk and sprinkle them, if necessary, with poppy or sesame seeds. Bake the bagels for 20 minutes until golden. Cut open the bagels and spread with cream cheese or jam.